good day again my wonderful and um, blessed listeners i bring to you the news the news headline we are in trouble joe ibukwe says as a narrate man's encounter with esn member members at lilo the news in full top nigerian politician and engineer joe ibukwe has made it clear that ego land is in danger as he narrate the story of a man who encountered the in esn and ipop members and how they kidnapped his cousin Ibokwe revealed that the IPOP members kidnapped the brother of a man and urged him to pay the sum of 200,000 naira. Joe Ibokwe revealed this on his Facebook page on Thursday, 3rd of February 2022. Ibokwe added that the news was reported on Vanguard. He said in his post, We are in trouble at about 2 p.m. on Thursday, 26-2022. I got a call from my cousin who came back from Switzerland for a burial at Umenike Upo. Upo is in the Unewi South Council, Anambra State. He told me that he was under the captivity of IPOP guys at Lilo. The IPOP guys told me to come with 200,000 naira and bail my brother and his SUV if I still want him alive. They want me not to involve the police or else they will kill my brother. According to Ibokwe, he stated that the man received a call from his cousin who came back from Switzerland for a barrier at Umonike Umpo on 26th of January 2022. He added that his, his cousin made it known to him that he was under the captivity of IPOP members and they also seized his SUV. The IPOP members told him that if he wants to see his brother alive, including his car, he should come with a sum of 200,000 naira to bail him. They also want him to never involve the police. The man he initially thought it was a prank until he received the same call again. When he consulted his brother, they warned him never to go, never to go to his friends. The DSS officer also warned him never to go. After considering the fact that his brother is in danger and needed to be saved, the man summoned courage and decided to take the bold step. He took his old Sienna and zoomed off with the sum of 250,000 naira to rescue his brother that was in danger. He said he was driving and one bike man joined him when he reached St. Joseph, St. Joseph Onuselugu Road. The bike followed him until they reached Aqua ATT section. They stopped at a certain police station where the man brought out his phone and showed him his number. He admitted to be the owner. There, the man asked him some questions to clarify whether it was the person that was coming to rescue his brother. The person was in a high pub emissary. He responded positively. The man took him to a corner where he bought a drink and they drank. After that, the man explained to him that his brother is safe. In his analysis, the man added that they were propelled to carry about the act because their brother, their leader in Amdekano is in the prison and they have no means of funding their security organization. The man gave him guidelines on how he would be able to enter the camp without being prosecuted. He told him to remove from his body anything that would vindicate him as a Nigerian, then use a green leaf to wave whenever he sees any of their members. The man added that the green leaf signifies peace. And after their discussion, the man took him with a bike, with his own bike, and they zoomed off. The next place it, he found himself was inside a bush in Lilo. When they reached the area his brother was staying, the GOC, General Officer Commanding, came out and greeted him. He gave them the sum of 200,000 naira and added the sum of 20,000 naira 20, for drinks. That was how his brother was saved. Joe Ibokwe says this is all this as he narrates a man encounter with the ESN members at Lilo. Joe Ibokwe, a top Nigerian and an engineer, made it clear that the Igbo land is in danger as he narrates a story of a man who encountered with the ESN and IPOP members and how they kidnapped his cousin. Joe Ibokwe revealed that the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, had allegedly kidnapped his brother and asked for the sum of 200,000 naira.
Joe Ibo Pro revealed this on his Facebook page on Thursday, the 3rd of February, year 2022. Ibo added to the news that it was reported to Vanguard. And he said that we are in trouble at about 2 p.m. June, January 26, 2022, that he got a call from his cousin who came back from Switzerland for a barrier. He told, he told him that he was under the captivity of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, at Lilo. He told them that the IPOB has asked for the sum of 200,000 naira to bail his brother and his SUB if they want him alive. They also warned him not to in any way involve the police in it. According to Joe Igbokwe, he also stated that the man received a call from his cousin, his cousin who came back from Switzerland for a barrier at Umunike Nkpo on 26th of January 2022. He also added that his cousin was made known that he was under the captivity of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP and they also seized his vehicle. He also made it known that the IPOP, the IPOP members told him that if he wants to see his brother alive, including his car, he should come with the total sum of 200,000 naira to bail him and his vehicle. And he was strictly warned not to by any way involve the police in the situation. The man who initially thought it was a joke was convinced until he received the same call again. And when he consulted his brothers, they warned him never to go to the police. And he also went to his friend, who is a DSS, who also warned him never to go. But after confronting the fact that his brother was in danger and needed to save him as, as early as possible, he summoned the courage and decided to take a bold step. He took his old Sienna bus and zoomed off with the sum of 250 naira to rescue his brother that was in danger. As he was driving, one bike man joined him when he reached St. Joseph along Onuzelogu Road. The bike man followed him as they reached Oka ATT section. He stopped at the, they stopped at the filling station where the man brought out his food and showed him his number and asked him if it was his own number. And he admitted that to be the owner of the phone number. The man also asked him some questions to clarify that he was the person that wanted to save his younger brother. He also made it known that the IPOB told him that he, they are using the form of kidnapping to, to raise funds as the leader in Amdekano is in the custody of the DSS. So they are using the means of kidnapping to raise funds to run the organization. The man who joined him also gave him a guideline on how to enter their camp without being prosecuted. It allegedly told him to remove from his body anything that could vindicate him, vindicate him as a Nigerian. He was also told to use a green leaf and also to wave it when, whenever he sees one of their members. He said that the man told him that the green leaf signifies peace. After the whole discussion, they zoomed off to the place and he found himself in Lilo and he gave them the sum of 200,000 naira and added the sum of 20,000 naira for drinks and that was how his brother was saved.